Corn Chandelier. The road bends, stalks past stippled fields. The January sky is fallow, cloudless and blue. A lightning-spliced oak leans on its charred elbow like a farmhand. Our estate agent waves. Uh, we pull up in a bus stop, put our hazard lights on. At two in the morning, the Chinese state authorities issue a notice. The white cut crystal sun sparkles. I shook my heavy winter coat, which causes an exodus. The hills bristle with a stove out of cut pine and spruce. 300,000 people. Inside the house, it's calm, crepuscular like a forest. The ceilings and walls covered by a dark husk of varnished wood. We could rip that out, C says. By 10 a.m., Wuhan is in lockdown. The Colonel, 11 million people, quarantined. This is the beginning. C's stomach is swelling, secretively pushing through the spread leaves of her jacket. The WHO announced that this is unprecedented in public health history. Inside her, you're now the length of a peeled ear of corn. A chandelier of grain, baby corn, sweet corn, popcorn, dent. The edible fruits of grasses. It's said the corn mother planted a piece of her heart. That from another world came a green clad stranger with yellow hair. That the first humans were made from corn mush, our flesh from maize. How, despite pestilence, the hunters and gatherers became sedentary, formed villages and towns, irrigation, calendars, ceremony, gods. The stairs are steep. The bathroom's in the wrong place. We could move it, I say, tapping walls. There's increasing evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. The virus scything through the population like a keen blade. Corn is lined up in irregular rows on the ear. A naked light bulb dangles from the white ceiling. C trails a finger along the windowsill, looks out across the valley at the pulsing river chased deep into the valley floor. There's no chance of flooding, she says. All public transport, buses, trains and ferries are suspended. Bound sheaves are arranged into stucks in the field. Outside, the small back garden catches the winter sun like a cough in cupped hands. The garden path is inexplicably laid with bathroom wall tiles. Be careful, C says. These are quite slippery. She takes my hand. Pollens windblown from the tassel to silk. I feel confident. It needs quite a lot of work, but... <laughs> we could do it. Make it ours. We've got a drill, a Bosch multi-tool and a whole season until you're due. Before modern machinery, all work, tilling, harrowing, ploughing, sowing, was done by labourers and livestock. A black metal crocodile creeps headfirst down the garage wall. We open the locked door. The space for a large family car. On YouTube, a dark-haired boy presses his new paper nose into the lens of a camera phone. Behind him, the reaped streets void. <laughs>